Poker Face PR, a leading poker PR service that specializes in digital PR and online branding. Hey guys, Michael Sherp here for Poker Face PR. Today I'll show you a quick little trick on how to personalize your emails. And in order to do so, we're going to use Thunderbird and an add-on called Mail Merge. So if you haven't downloaded Thunderbird already, just Google Thunderbird download it and then you install an add-on called Mail Merge. In order to do that, you go to Tools, Add-ons, and then in the search bar, you type in Mail Merge, and the first one should be Mail Merge. You install that. This is gonna take a few seconds to download it, and then it should be ready. I, in my case, I've already installed it, so I'm just gonna restart it at this point. And uh, then we're set to go in and able to use Mail Merge. So let me quickly show you how to actually use it because it's 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 not as straightforward as it could be. So what Mail Merge offers you is the ability to use an Excel file or an Excel sheet and use that as your personalization. So let me show you an example. So let's say we had a, an Excel sheet filled with uh, some emails and names that we want to personalize in the sense that these are my personal emails and I want to send somebody an email hi Michael uh, I don't know whatever here's some email okay and uh, yeah this is a great way to personalize it and let me show you how this would be actually be done in Thunderbird so you would just go to your email so in my case my personal email or my company email and I would write an email and the important part here is that you'll have to keep a certain structure of the email so so that it mail merge recognizes that that uh, that these fields are actually to be used so what you do is for name uh, for for the email you use whatever you typed in as your label for the first column in my case email I'll use the email here and then I type in hi and then always double brackets and then I use the label called first name for the second column so first name and then it would say hi something and then I would say here nice to talk to you and then again first name and you can use this kind of syntax everywhere in your email it's two brackets to open two brackets to close and in the middle whatever you labeled your column okay and that way mail merge will go one row by one row and make you a separate email for that and then send it out there is one more thing that you have to do before you can actually send it and this is saving your excel sheet or in my case here I use open office as a CSV file in order to do so you go to file save as and then it will give you the option here if you click on the save as type as text CSV just click that click save and yes I want to keep the current format it's gonna ask you for for um, yeah how you want to export it and just stick to whatever it tells you uh, it doesn't matter there's one thing you can only save one sheet so this is the first sheet Okay, so now we get, we go back to our, to our original email that we wanted to send out, and now we're ready. All we gotta do now is tell Mail Merge that we wanna send is like that. And in order to do so, you go to File, Mail Merge, and then you gotta pick where your where your CSV files at. In my case, it's here on my desktop. Mail Merge. Uh, what did I type? A test Mail Merge CSV. Here we go open that and I want to send this now and leave everything as is and click OK and what will happen now is that mail merge will actually go into your Excel file go through every row separately create the email replacing the syntax that we used and then send out those emails so to check that I just send myself to emails and we're gonna go back and see voila it, it sent it to my email it said hi Michael nice to talk to you Michael and so on and so forth alright hope this was very helpful this has been Michael Sherb for Poker Face PR 
Raise yourself to new heights with Poker Face PR. 